Hello guys! I've tested a couple of 18650 lithium-ion batteries. The very popular Panasonic NCR1850B and LG INR1850F1L. They are both rated at 3350 mAh with maximum continuous discharge current at 4.87 amps. I've tested them at 0.65, 2 and 5 amps, but first let's take a look at my testing equipment and how I do the tests. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After the charging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The LG F1L cell which I've tested has the following marking LG AB F1L 1865 Q088C298AA. It has the following specs according to its datasheet Nominal capacity 4350 mAh, Minimum capacity 4250 mAh, Nominal voltage 3.63 volts, Standard charge current 975 mA, Maximum charge current 1625 milliamps, charge and voltage 4.2 volts, charge cutoff current 50 milliamps, maximum discharge current 4875 milliamps, discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts, AC impedance less than 70 milliamps, maximum weight 49 grams. The measured weight of my cell is 45.31 grams. At 0.2C or 0.65 amps, LG INR 18650F1L gave out 3297 mAh or 11.93 Wh. At 2 amps, the result was 3166 mAh or 11.07 Wh. At 5 amp discharge rate, the result was 3107 mAh or 9.96 Wh. The Panasonic NCR1850B cell which I've tested has the following marking HCV7141. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Typical capacity 4350 mAh at 25 cm. Minimum capacity 3250 mAh at 25 cm. Nominal voltage 3.6 volts. Standard charge current 1625 mA. Charge and voltage 4.2 volts. Charge cutoff current 65 milliamps. Maximum discharge current 4875 milliamps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. AC impedance less than 100 milliamps. Maximum weight 48.5 grams. The measured weight of my cell is 45.79 grams. At 0.2C or 0.65 amps, Panasonic NCR1850B gave out 3320 mAh or 12Wh. At 2 amps, the result was 3167 mAh or 11.09Wh. At 5 amp discharge rate, it gave out 3162 mAh or 10.40Wh. At 0.2C or 0.65 amps, both batteries showed very close results. 
Their capacity was around 5300 milliamp hours and energy about 12 watt hours, but NCR 18650B was a bit ahead. At 2 amp discharge rate, the results are even closer, and the difference is only 1 milliamp hours in capacity and 0.02 watt hours in energy. At 5 amp discharge, the picture changes. The difference between NCR 18650B and F1L is about 55 milliamp hours or 0.44 watt hours, and NCR 18650B is the better cell. So, at the end of the day, the winner is Panasonic NCR 18650B, but the difference is miserable. At 2 amp discharge, there is no difference at all, and only at 5 amps, NCR 18650B showed a bit better result. That's all for today, don't forget to like this video if you find it useful, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell next to the subscribe button to not miss the future videos. Bye bye!